this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive Robinson on the handoff and they make the stop at the 23 yard line loss of two on the run by the halfback From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. get it again makes it to the 47 from their own 47 yard line second down and he's taken down right around the 50 and they keep it on the ground for the first down nothing too fancy here the key is that the running back was able to convert the first down Completely stopped immediately. From the 43 yard line, second down. Mike 42, Mike 42. Let's go. 319. 319. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down around the 36 yard line. him hard at the 34-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 34. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. It's the ninth play of the drive. Might have been some early movement up front. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. Laterals back. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. This is the 10th play of this drive. Mike 42, Mike 42. Yeah. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Third and 15 coming up. Ball in the 25. Tackle at the 14. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. 
the slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Texas could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. his man and they take him down immediately he's to the 40 completes it's the junior he gets hit out of bounds at the 47 yard line this guy is one of the most reliable receivers around they needed a big play on third down and he got it for him From the 47-yard line, it's first down. On play action, he'll scramble. And he's tackled at the 34. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. 41's coming, 41 to Mike. Pass it, 10 to Mike. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Gibbs, the ball carrier, inside the 10, brought down at the four-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. almost picked off. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Looks middle, tight end, touchdown. He hit the big tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10-yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening. Then you can just drill it in there. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 76-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So our score, 7-3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He 
He's tackled around the 22-yard line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. that quickly incomplete can't ask for much more than a three and out great job defense they look like they've got the block on and this offensive line's got to give him some time he makes it to the 48 yard line A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. And down he goes at about the 49. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Alabama holds a four-point lead. Fires it out, and he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. Roger, Roger. 41's coming. 41 to Mike. I'm on, I'm on. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Gets out to around the 35. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. First and 10, ball on the 35-yard line. They'll drop in for a loss. Excellent pursuit by the defense. They're getting off their blocks, and that time they tracked him down for a loss. out to around the 28. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Check three, check three, check three. Five wide. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Gets out to about the 22-yard line. Young only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. And this play is number eight on the drive. Alabama is up four. He's got the corner. Inside the 10, knocked out of bounds at the 10. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Incomplete. They got a hand on it. And this is the tenth play of the drive. And they hit him in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. From the 18-yard line, it's third down. With a quick throw. This one will fall incomplete. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. 
they line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Here we go. Flight 80. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. 10-3, Crimson Tide. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Hey, Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Set. 180. One. And he's taken down at the 38. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Wants to throw outside. That close to being intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. And they got him for a loss. And here's another third down. Over the middle to his tailback. They'll bring him down at the 35. Pearson to punt. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Alabama up seven points. Got some open field. He's at midfield. To the 20, the 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him on a first and goal. And smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback you think about the challenges these two teams are facing on one side you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead and on the other side you've got to find a way to get back in it tackle after a decent run up the gut Second down and five. Ball on their own 30. Nice run up the middle. Here we go, D. All day, defense, all day, all day. Mike 42, Mike 42. Got some open field. 
He's at midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds at about the 45. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. First and 10. Ball on the 45. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Caught out of the open. And he's level at the 33-yard line. Takes it right and brought down right away. From the 33-yard line, second down. They go the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Here we go, D. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. Ready? Green 90. Green 90. Motion, motion. Check, check, check. Shift. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle at about the 35. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. Burton, back to return it. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Young's play so far, Kirk, in the first half. I don't think we're surprised, but he's been very, very impressive. He's been very impressive, and I think he's kind of in that zone. And, you know, whether you're watching a basketball game and a shooter gets in a zone, or you're a baseball player and you're kind of one of those you know, hitters that's just in a zone where the ball looks like it's a balloon coming in. <laughs> you know, for a quarterback, when you get in the zone, it means you're just not thinking. Things are happening naturally. You don't have to sit there and worry about it. You play with a tremendous amount of confidence. And I think that's what we're seeing from him right now. I think he just has a lot of confidence in himself and his teammates and what they're trying to do right now as an offense. From their own 48-yard line, first down. And he's tackled at the 50. receiver incomplete great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled third down now and they need to get it inside the 42 you don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. And off to the left. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. 
Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Room around the corner. Burton fields it at the 48, and they push him out at the 41-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. down around the 24 yard line tackle made at the 13 yard line it's first and ten ball on the 13. the three-yard line. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 41, Mike 41. Hey, I'm coming up to you. I'm coming up to you. Set. Touchdown time. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Now he's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Pearson is the putter. Oh, man. He took him down hard. Alabama's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Now, Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 48. He heaves it deep to the 20. And down he goes, right around the 14-yard line. He flings it left. the stop around the 16-yard line.
So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Here's the give. Nice move, and he scores. That's his third trip to the end zone. This offense has just been running over the defense with the ground game. If they can't shore up the rushing attack soon, then this game is going to get ugly. And he hits the PAT. So a four-play, 57-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 31-3. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line. And he's tackled at the 23. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He airs it out. It's knocked away, incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Tim's the mic. I don't even know why this team showed up. Set! Scrambling around. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Well, we'll hope for a much more competitive game in the second half as we go to the locker room at halftime. Alabama leads it 31-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game looks like blowout city. I don't think I'm crazy, David Pollock. I don't think it's taking up residence in Blowout City. I think it's just passing through and visiting. Uh, we might have a comeback in store in the second half. Well, I think you're crazy, and you need to go to the halfway house and visit and stay for a while because this game isn't going anywhere back the other direction. It's over. Put the women and children to bed. Go nope. find something else a little bit more entertaining. No. Nope. Open a bag of chips. You know, start another season of something else because this, nope. one's, this one's a wrap. There's going to be a comeback. So you're saying there's a chance. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. Very lopsided first two quarters. We'll hope for better as we head into the third. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Alabama up big right now in this one. Ready, Wide. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. target so they couldn't pick up the long yardage and now they'll have to punt yeah they just couldn't connect on a pass there that was a very good stand by this defense worthy is back to receive <laughs> oh man did he take a hit 
Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. That's a great tackle at the 47. They're about four yards away here on second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He makes the catch and has a first down. He's taken down right around the 34. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down around the 10-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. run up the middle. Roger, Roger. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Ready. Green. Green. They hand it off. And he's taken down around the four-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Texas is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Alabama with a big advantage. Makes it to the 34. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Set. Hi, Oklahoma! Set. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Man left, man left. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Oklahoma! 
handoff, and he's met in the backfield. Complete, knocked away. Worthy is back deep to return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball in the 23. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Let's go one more. Change the mic. Change the mic. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Deep to return. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Alabama comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. He passes it. From their own 43 yard line. Second down. 41's coming. 41 the mic. Set. Oklahoma. Hut. Oklahoma. Hut. 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 Young fakes the handoff. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And they finally knock him out at the 26 yard line. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Mike 41, Mike 41. Set. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. Gibbs, the ball carrier. He's at the 20. And he's tackled at the 10 yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 62-yard drive. And they put up seven points. So our score, 38-6. Nice kick, plenty of distance. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. Young kept his cool after a bad first half. Kirk, and they're right in this thing. You know, even when his team was down, uh, he just never seemed to panic. He was cool in the huddle. He got his teammates on the same page and has really just taken command of this offense. I think he's been unbelievable in his talent 
I think is through the roof. But I think it's his mental toughness is what really puts him into a category all by himself. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made around the 19-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He's at the 40. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Alabama is winning big. Up the middle for a nice game. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. On play action, he's got the corner. Inside the 10. And he is drilled at the four. and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. Always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. So that's a five-play, 39-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. their own 47 yard line first down that's three down and one to go Alabama's running away with it this one has been a blowout since the beginning hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around He's going to try and scramble, and down he goes around the 48-yard line. Oh, 
Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 48. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 49. for the offense. You connect with your wide out hoping to make a play and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Caught. Enough for the first down. And it's caught. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Alabama comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Throws falling back and got his man. They'll bring him down at the 32. Throws a bullet. He couldn't hang on. Incomplete. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. There was some movement on the line. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. The penalty pushes them back even more. It makes it third down and 15. And he's going to be sacked. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. For Alabama, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. They also have that one takeaway. This offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground. No, they haven't. So maybe they should just focus a bit more on the running game to mix it up and keep the defense guessing. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last yeah. drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. And he's immediately tackled. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. to the left for a nice game. And he's taken down at the 36. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 36. Fires 
to his tight end. Nothing to it. Pearson to punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Alabama's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Alabama in control. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check nine, check nine. 41's coming, 41's the mic. Hey. Oklahoma. They'll go with the run once again. Tackle at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line. Second down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Rifles it right side. The game's not over until the final whistle blows, no matter what the scoreboard says. The defense needs to remember that, or this is only going to get worse. From the 22-yard line, first down. Under pressure, and he just gets rid of it. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they push him out at the 10. From the 10-yard line, it's first down. Alabama up big right now in this one. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds around the 10-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. <laughs> Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And that could have been six. Yep, he just didn't have enough time to deliver an accurate pass there. Tenth play of the drive. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Fourth and long here after the sack.
It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He makes his way to about the 42. Receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 42 yard line, it's second down. Three down, three down. Mike's ready. Right, 78. He fights forward to about the 43. it out to his receiver in a hurry and he's hit immediately Whittington gained six yards with a short completion Burton is the deep man awaiting the return so this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback Young showing that the hard work paid off today. Uh, he works very, very hard to be able to have a chance to have, be the difference in this game, and it paid off for him. You just hope that a game this uneven ends quietly. We don't want to see anything nasty and pointless at the end. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Second and 14. Ball on the 16. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. Let's go. Let's go. Alabama's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.